Hi guys, my name is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. And today I want to show you some of the things that I picked up. I, I was shopping online and I seen some things on Amazon that I needed. And so I'm just going to go and hop right into it and show you what I got. The first thing I got was these. These right here, um, I didn't realize it was going to be such a big bag, but I'm happy with it. Uh, these are the acrylic drops and I paid about, um, I'm thinking about $13 for these. And you get a hundred of them in there guys a whole lot and they, they don't bag these in really thick bags so that's great and they are they had different sizes but this is the only size they had left which works out perfect for me look how cute those are they have a hole in the top so you can use these to make for your I have the DIY that I'm using these for but these would be great for uh, Christmas tree ornaments you can just put a hook on here and just ready to go these are super cute to get that many of them in this quality for $13 get a hundred that alone just for the Christmas ornaments is worth it um, you can use it for like DIY lights and chandeliers and you can make little cute little uh, projects with it like I'm planning on doing some um, Christmas stuff with this and it's going to be really cute um, look inside <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited for Christmas already so but yeah you get a hundred of these guys a hundred there's a close-up there and there's the hole at the top so and they are about um, probably uh, a little over two inches long and about uh, almost about an inch wide at the bottom so these were awesome to get a hundred of those in this big old bag and now if I can close this up so I was just shopping around because I needed some um, different things for my beading and my DIYs and things like that and the one the some of the DIYs is holding me up is because I ran out of the materials that I need. So I hate when that happens, but I don't know if this helps or if you can see it. But there is the number if you're interested in that, and it's off Amazon. I don't know if you can see it. So that was an awesome buy. And then I picked up some more of these. So, guys, it's the crinkle bags. These are the acrylic. Uh, they got different kinds. They got kinds that's on string, and they have these kinds that's like on these little jump rings. And these are the chain ones, the chain acrylic drops that you can use for you know decorations and things like that. And you get, I believe, you get some. I think it's like 60, 60 feet, but they come in sections. Um, 60 feet for about, I think, right around twenty two dollars or something like that. And they look like this. This is me. Uh, I cut these this already in this section and I had some but I needed some more and there that's what they look like because they also have the kindness in, on string too like this I'll show you I got this off of Amazon before too but you get up here and show you see this is on string so that's the difference in this to get a lot of this was a great deal as well I, I did I believe I did a haul on this one in my um, one of my other craft hauls so these right here are great for 60 foot for that much now if you don't want this much if you just want um, like say you want 16 feet I did see some that's like 16 feet for right around um, I think the lowest I seen was like six or seven dollars for 16 feet but it's I did the math and it's the best deal to get the 60 foot for $23 so I had to grab some of those and then, guys, they had this, and I don't know. I wish it was bigger. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's the info. It's not going to help you. It's in Chinese. But it's this. I wanted something to display some of my rings that I make and stuff like that, and also the kinds that I just buy and wear. And it is this little hand here. It's kind of cute. And you can display your uh, rings and stuff like that. And I don't know if it's a little girl in me or not, but I just am so tempted to paint the nails, but I know I can because I'm afraid if I was to try to change out the colors and use the um, uh, that uh, nail polish remover, it might, I don't know if this is white through and through or if it's just like painted kind of material. It's a real shiny material. So, and it, and it stands up like that, if it's not in the bag anyway, it, it will stand up. But I thought that would be cute. You can even 
could dangle off bracelets and rings just for a display if, if you like. But I think it's, I don't know what it's made of. It's definitely some kind of, I don't know if it's some, some kind of ceramic or whatever. They have the clear as well, but I thought the clear would, um, you would see the background too much. So I went ahead and like if I'm going to use it to show my, uh, display my projects, I thought it'd be easier for me to go ahead and put it on, I mean get the white. They have white, black. I, I even believe they had a pink, but it's more of like a fuchsia pink, and I, I didn't want that. So I picked this up, and I, I forget the price on this, but they're not very expensive. But I wish that, that I, they, to, they told me the size on there. I don't know if it was, they said at the highest point, seven inches or something like that. But I really wish I had a bigger version of this, but that is what it looks like. I'm not taking it out of the bag, because if I do, you can hear that crinkle. It's going to drive you guys nuts. But I got that to display my jewelry. Okay. Another thing I needed for one of my ones, I needed some lights. And I have some of these Dollar Tree ones that's just the white, the push, push and I, I'm going to use some of those in um, some of my DIYs. But this right here I wanted to use because this is a remote controlled submersible LED light. Um, the, part, the fact that it's submersible that's waterproof, as long as you there, there's instructions. If you do not screw this on tight, nothing is waterproof. And they, they say you can use it in your pools and stuff like that, but I wouldn't. But I was just thinking if I want to make a something for outdoors that's, you know, weather resistant, if you can put it in a pool, then it's pretty much going to be rain resistant as well. So um, that's why I got these. And I think, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten LEDs. You get four of them. Now, what's different about this one right here, and here is the number on there off of Amazon, in case you, I don't know if it shows up, in case you want to know. I think this was right around. I don't know. I was looking at a couple of different kinds. Some of them I was looking at um, was like 17, and some of them was like uh, 20. I think I don't know which one this one was, but this one comes with not only this is remote controlled, non flicker, uh, replaceable batteries. Um, most of these take triple like two or three triple A batteries uh, for the light part, and then you know they have the separate different kind of batteries for this. But the reason why I picked, chose this one is because there is four remotes and four lights. Like some of them you'll see, they'll, they might have four or six lights, but they'll have one remote or maybe two. So, um, you know, they did say that each one of these is not specifically programmed for each light. So if you have one remote, it could possibly control, no, my dog hears somebody, this is one of her. It could possibly control all of them. But I'm going to have them in different rooms of the house, so it's not going to be an issue for me, but keep that in mind if you're hanging them close together. Um, that may happen. It says, uh, it has little, these little buttons here, like the off, on, and the brightness, and the what you can make what color you want, and they have some modes you can go through, like fade, um, flash, strobe, and um, smooth. And so I thought this was uh, really good for a DIY. And this equals out to about $5 each. Now they do have some others as plain white LEDs and they also have color LEDs. They might not go through the, the function or not have a remote, but you can get the, that kind um, for as little as probably about $3 each. So it is affordable, but the only thing about Amazon, you usually have to make an order of $25 or more on, uh, not every order, but um, some of them you can get free shipping through Amazon or if you have Amazon Prime you're set So this right here. I'm really excited about <laughs> I kind of want to take it out and test it out We'll do that later. I'll show you my other stuff And then I needed these these are the jump rings. I don't know if this was Panda Hall Elite I'm not quite sure because I was looking at two different kinds one was brand started with the S But I think it's the Panda Hall Elite and you get a lot of jump rings in here, and they're each in a department, and they're different sizes. You pop these open. And I wanted to experiment with different brands of jump rings, because the ones I have um, that I normally use, they're really good jump rings, but they're a little bit thinner and a little bit more. They're not as sturdy as I would like for things like uh, my Chunky Purse Charms, because they tend to fall apart if you use too many beads with the uh, smaller ga gauge. The thinner wire. So, and you get quite a bit in there. So that's what it looks like. I forget how many, I don't know. I wish I could 
even remember how many it was, but they didn't send me for some reason a little paper that goes with it to tell everything that you got. It just, I don't know if they got that or what. And then I got these right here. And these are the Lobster Class. Um, it's at 16 by 7 findings, lead and nickel free. And these are silver, and you get a hundred of them. And here is the information. I don't know if you can see it on my camera or not. I'm holding it up really close for you guys, trying to get a different angle. But I like these um, for my necklaces because I have some smaller ones, but the way it, sometimes I get some slight tremors and it just it makes it really hard. I don't, I'm not very good at opening the smaller lobster claws. I like a, the, the next size up too, but I couldn't find those at a good deal that I wanted. So I, I, I got these. So these will work, but the next size up I think I would like even better. But this is definitely a good deal. And I think for this I paid like $6 for a hundred of them. So I don't know what kind of quality. I haven't checked that out. I will update you guys uh, on this later once I've uh, had some experience with it. And then I have these. The earrings, the kind with the post and that you can, uh, it has the backs with it instead of the fish hooks. Now, I do not like the way this was packaged in with the uh, rest of the beads. I will say that because this is so tightly packed and it was in with my, you see the heavier items, that I don't know how many of these are going to be straight and how many is going to be crooked. You know, you know what, let's go ahead and find out. These are the silver ones. Let me show you the information really quick. I hope you guys can see that. So that's that off of Amazon. And I'm going to try, try to open this and pour some of these out to see because honestly, I don't think these will be I really don't. I think they would be squished. Okay, they got them in individual little packs. Um, now, when they say 300, you don't get 300 posts. That's inc they include the, you got to be careful when you're ordering things because they include the backs for pieces, okay? So, you know, you got half that in the actual earring. I have a white container. We're going to go ahead and open it that I'm going to store these in. Um, bear with me. I'm just opening it up. I'll, I'll put it on camera as soon as I get it open and pour some out. Okay, these are the backs. Now the backs look fine. So that part's uh, great. Now, um, the part that I'm really worried about, it's neat how they will, they do, do at least separate the backs from the, the actual earring itself. And it's just a little post, but with the little area, I'm getting these everywhere, guys. Bear with me that you can like affix like I you know those Dollar Tree gems and stuff you get at Michaels and Joann's and, and places like that and, and especially those Dollar Tree because that's really affordable these would make super cute earrings and uh, hair pieces and everything so I brought some of these and I'm going to use my E6000 on it just to play around just to see how they turn out okay now I had to get that in there now here's the test guys let me try to open this itty bitty bag that is full of these rings because I am I'm just thinking they're gonna be all squished and bent. Let's look here. We're just gonna take it. This is just a little sample. I'm not checking all of them. Okay, let's see how straight. Actually. Um Yeah, okay. They are not this little sample that I got out right here. I'm trying to look at these really closely. They're not bent. S some of these aren't perfectly on, on the center uh, where they put the post at, but it's really close. And it, it, for what I mean, for the, I'm going to be uh, putting some bigger flowers and things like that on there, and you and you won't be able to tell anyway. But it's it's pretty close. Um, I'm looking. I'm just this is just a sample. It's not saying all of them. The ones I'm pulling out, I checked. I looked at about, let's see here, let me grab a couple more. Uh, out of, of about eight or nine of them that I see, there's only one that's a little bit off center. The bars, the post in there. So those are um, worth it because you get like, I, I th I'm thinking it was, uh, I'm not for sure, I'm thinking it was like uh, 300 
they say 300 pieces, which means 150 of the the actual earring and 150 of the back. So pay really close attention to that because sometimes people look at the the uh, amount you get and they assume they're not going to include, you know, if it has little separate pieces like that, that they're not including the backs. Yes, these places include the backs because they want to make it look as good as possible. But still, that was a, one of the best deals I found on Amazon. If any, any one of these that you are interested in and you just can't find it with these numbers that I'm showing you, you just let me know uh, in the comments below and I will do my best to find the link for you. And then we had this, <laughs> guys. I bought a, a quarter pound of this artistic wire because I love the artistic wire because of all my wires that I've used as far as different brands and stores. This artistic wire is the only one, honestly, that is not turning green and dark and fading and everything. This one is pr pretty much staying true to color. They have some kind of coating on it. You do have to be careful when you're working with this not to use real sharp tools. I'm gonna, actually going to get the tool dip that you dip the tip of your tools into the... It's kind of like a... Think of it as like a little coating that's supposed to help prevent it from, you know, scratching up your wire. If you've ever used, I've never tried anything like that before, so if you ever used anything like that before for your jewelry trolls, please leave a comment below. Let me know um, how it's worked out for you and the brand and kind you used. Um, I would appreciate that. Now, this is an 18 gauge wire, and for a quarter pound, if you guys are wondering, for the 18 gauge, because you know that's a thicker wire, um, how long is it? It's 57 feet, and I think this one right here was right around, I'm, I'm thinking $11. Here is the information. I will tilt it in different ways because with my lighting, I'm not for sure what shows up not. But the wire looks like that right there. So I didn't hardly have any of the 18 gauge, so I got this big old roll. Now be careful. On some of these different gauges, they're saying when you buy it uh, under the re reviews, this one they give good stars. But I think I was going to buy the 20 gauge in this size as well. But they said for some reason they've worked with, they've used artistic wire, you know, for years and years and years, never had an issue with it. But when they bought it on that big roll, I don't know if it's the, it's the way it's uh, put on there, if it was too rough or if it's the wire itself. But they did say that it was like flaking and stuff like that, and that they have better luck with these smaller with these smaller sizes. Now, this one had good reviews. I see no issues looking at it right off the bat, but I'm again, I'm not in there and really going through it just yet because I haven't worked with it. But I wanted to uh, tell you guys about that just so you're aware of that. So I went ahead and I bought the little, the smaller one that had the better, that had really good reviews of the artistic wire, the smaller size, not the quarter pound like I was going to do. Now this one here has 25 feet. And the price difference isn't huge in between. I mean, the, this one might be a slightly better deal, but this might be better for most people due to easy, it's not as huge and easy to store. You just buy a couple of these instead. But I just want to grab one to see. And again, this is the 20 gauge and it's 25 feet. And let me see if I can show you the information. I'm going to tilt it in different areas, ways, just in case the lighting doesn't show it in one. So if you find, find it, when it shows up really good, just hit pause. So, that's that. Because I love this wire, guys. I've had, I've had uh, some projects that I've had hanging out that I've used with this artistic wire. Now, of course, your, your sterling silver is going to be good, the best. I do have some of that real sterling silver, or your, at least the, the sterling silver filled. And I got it from this place online. This really good place to go is Rio something, Rio Rio Grande, or I don't know Rio something. And they sell all kinds of like sterling silver and wires and stuff, stuff like that. So, and then I went ahead and this was an add-on item, and it was like uh, for something, and it's the 24 gauge because I don't think I have very much of this. I don't think I, I don't have any in the artistic wire, but in other brands, you know, like you know, I think it was like Walmart or something like that. I wanted some in the artistic wire to try it. And this right here, you get 10 yards, 24 gauge, for uh, right around four something. And the back's kind of messed up, but here is the information, if you can see it. So, I definitely had a, I have some projects I'm working on that requires a lot of wire, and I'm just having a blast with it. 
And then the next time we're going to, okay guys, <laughs> I love this. Let me move this out of the way so you can see this. This is great. Guys, I was searching for makeup brushes. I want to get a couple different sets. I do not plan on using these. But they were just so cute, I had to get them. Let me show you the information. And I got them off of Amazon. I think these were right around $13. And all these qualify for free shipping $25 or more. And all these are adorable. And they had this kind, and they had these, uh, this is the mermaid brushes. And if you buy this separately alone, you're gonna look, pay about five, to seven, eight dollars just for this right here. Guys, that is so cute. <laughs> I'm going to use this for decor. I've seen that and I just had to have it. I'm going to take this out of here so you can see it. Bell. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Okay, now far as... Oh, this is really soft, guys. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell by me doing this. See if you can tell. See, this is really soft. It feels different. <laughs> it feels like... It feels like it's a good quality, but, you know, I don't have no bristles coming out just up yet, but I don't know how they're going to hold up as far as using them. They seem, they seem pretty good, but then again, you know, I haven't tried to apply makeup with them, so I'm using this one here, these, this set for decor, but that's really cute. They had the, I wasn't paying attention, they had the kind with the silver band as well, and I really wish I would have got that, the silver, but I, I, I like this as well. This is okay, but... I just think this is for $13, and I think it's a 10-piece, and guys, they have different ones, and with this one, you actually get this, and this, they really charge like 5 or $6 just to get this one item right here if you buy it separately. So, these, these right here, <laughs> they're so cute, oh my gosh, uh, they have these, I was torn, they have the, this mermaid kind, and then they have the unicorn ones, and um, then they have this one basically a fancy white and pink one so I am think I'm going to get all of them because I couldn't make up my mind I, I was torn, I, I had this in a cart for two weeks trying to decide which one I wanted to get so you get this one right here which I guess this one, that would probably be the power brush, I don't know which, I'm no makeup professional, and then we had this one that's like fanned out so that's cute and then you get this right here I don't know if this which this would be brushes. You don't get any directions on here as uh, far as what the to use it for, but honestly, I never did go by directions with these brushes. I just tried them on and whatever worked the best is what I use. So I would probably have used this one for like this one I would have probably used for the powder or and um, this one I would probably use for honestly this one or this probably this one I would use for the blush or different so you can use whatever you want let me take another one out just so you can a different shape see guys that is adorable and it's a real shiny metallic color and the tips are that color that is so cute there's another example let me hold that for you i know you can't really judge but i'm just going this just feels really soft it feels like a decent quality for the price I know this is not going to be your high-end brand, but I'm using these for decor. I am not using these for makeup. I have others I use for makeup, but I want some more. But I had to get these because I've never seen this. I mean, actually, it goes from like mint green, and then in, the, in here, it kind of looks like a purple, and then goes to a pink, and I, I know somebody that would be crazier. It missed it. My friend Miss Sydney Blue here on YouTube. If you haven't checked her out, check her out. She's got a great channel. She does a lot of hauls, but so... We really are, we love those colors. And then you, so you get that, and then you get this one right here, which I never really cared for these right here, because they never usually work for anything for me, other than brushing the fallout from underneath my eyes with the eyeshadow. So you get that one. And you get that is kind of like an angled. And this one, it comes to like a kind of like an angled tip so this would probably be really good I would like that for putting on my eyeshadow and this is probably good for like concealers and the blemishes because it is more flat the tip is more flat so you get that and then you get this right here and this has got a slight angle to it as well you can see 
And then you get this one right here, which this one's probably be good for the um, concealers and stuff like that as well. Maybe like the little highlights. And it is kind of flat as well. Let me take one of these out so you can actually see the... As you can see there. And it is... Now these right here... Okay, this is stiff, guys. The smaller one here, and I'm going to check these. These are stiff. The smaller ones are stiff. The larger ones are soft. And let me check this medium one right here for you guys. Yeah, this, except for this one, I can tell you right now. This one's soft. These are soft, and these are more of a, a, a stiff, a dense stiff. But I, I think it would work great for um, doing like the uh, creases for your eye shadow and maybe put some eyeshadow underneath or whatever you like. So I want to show you my haul and that is the things that I got from Amazon. And if you need help finding anything, just let me know in the comments below. But oh my goodness, check this brush out. So I just love this right here, and I'm probably going to get the uh, unicorn one and the other little, this one, I forget the brand, it's white and white tip brush with the pink, like a, a pastel pink base. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And they're all right around the same price, $13. One might be $20. So I hope you like this haul. I thought I'd show you a little bit of different items, a little variety here for my DIYs and my um, jewelry and just a little decor. So if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and keep an eye out for my upcoming videos and DIYs and hauls along with the upcoming sneak peek at my giveaway. And that's coming up real soon, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a wonderful day. Bye.